welcome. Thank you for clicking on the thumbnail to watch the video. Good to see you. And I'm Xari, and we're here, of course, on the Xari Croft SMP. This SMP we started about five weeks ago, and I took the job on me to actually making the spawn hub nice and pretty that if you join the server or if you die or you have to grab something at spawn there would be a nice building and today i want to finish my job because all the other members they have their own bases and their own area and i don't so right now i'm gonna decorate this mushroom and then i have to make another portal to the roof make it all look nice and all blend into the area and then and then i hope i can finally make my own base now here I thought on the top of the mushroom it would look nice if it was like mossy and some trees and some bushes and flowers around to have it like a more organic look that it doesn't stand out so much uh, in the area as it does now. So I like to kind of spawn these azalea trees and then alter the leaves. Add some leaves, remove some leaves so that it looks a little bit weird. Add some bushes around. And then it's time to actually detail a little bit of the stem of the mushroom. Now I'm not going to go all out. I'm just going to remove some of the layers for the end stone bricks. Yes, that's the, st <laughs> that's the name. And now I've got a glow like and a trick for you. It is what I like to do if I make bushes or trees. I like to uh, put the glow lichen on in the kind of weird shapes all around the trees. And of course it gives a little bit of a glow effect, that's where the name glow lichen comes from, I guess. And uh, don't forget the top of the tree. And then at night, it kind of gives it a glow. It's not too, too big, but it is definitely working out. And before I'm gonna decorate the inside, let's do a quick flyby. inside the mushroom. Now I think it's a bit tricky of a build because I don't have that much space but I'm gonna try my best to make all kind of nice rooms in here. Of course we need a bedroom with some lights and some books inside of it. We need like a dining table or a game table where people can sit on. Yeah and I also like to use the end walls because they give light and it's not that obvious you're using a light block. Now a workstation should also be here if you come up you want to craft something the kitchen with some letters and some lights oh i did that wrong i have to actually get the pot out of it and yep see i know did you know you could do that and i really like to sit command you do sit you sit on something it's a it's a plugin i put on the server now this is the library this is the way uh, down oh, the staircase that was that was a build that was a problem library kind of a game table this is the work area with storage the kitchen i think it looks cozy there you can sit have your dinner the bedroom of course it's actually it works i have enough space on top of it some art some plants and i think this is my favorite part of the inside of the mushroom because if you just look outside you can just see spawn and i really still believe this is such a pretty spawn so when i'm finished i hope all the other players will build their shops all around spawn in the walls so that we can actually have the spawn hub active i know redis you said build a staircase in the center and i chose to leave this staircase around i made some um i made some windows on the side so you have some natural light put some um, lights in the floor and here it is it's all active. This is our community hub inside the mushroom. Some free stuff. The mailboxes for all the players. This is like an area I like to decorate with different heights and colors, plants. Yeah, the trims, we still don't have them all. And the trades. And if you look up, that's all the way to the top. The staircase is working. And if you go outside, I will show you how it looks if you walk from spawn over the bridge to the mushroom. Now, I think it blends in. I do need to do a little bit of the terraforming around it because it's very like 
boring now. On this side there's a lake, on the other side there's no lake. I actually want to put water in here and then put the roof portal in the middle, on the water. So let's go building. Now I'm standing here at spawn and that has a reason. I mean, five weeks ago we started this uh, server with three members and now we actually have a new member. We have six members active now. And I'm gonna do some armor stand magic. Well, I tried to do some armor stand magic with this book. It is uh, not too difficult, but it is. it can be tricky. So I do show base plate, no, because I like to show the feet. Um, show arms, yes, I like to hold them something and then um, apply gravity, no, so it will be standing up and not fall together. And there's the head. <laughs> yeah, you're wondering how I got the head? Well, let me show you. I got a clip from that. I went over uh, to Angerus base where he was just chatting with Crafty Paul and I thought, okay, how can I actually surprise him to kill him to get his head for the armor stand? And I didn't tell him why I was there, so I dug myself a hole and I found this copper ore block. Now, Angerus is very, very new to Minecraft. He just started this week. Uh, he does have a YouTube channel. The link is in the description. And he will, at some point, I think, make YouTube uh, videos from here. I lured him in and then I killed him. And the guy on the side, Crafty Paul, he knew exactly what was going on because I did the same thing to him. They go all and say, hey, look at this. And then I killed him too. And he didn't say a word. He just let it happen. <laughs> but of course, no items uh, were lost. We all are friends on the server. And we gave him his items back. But then I had his head so I could actually get him an armor stand at spawn. And this is a little bit uh, tricky sometimes. You put things in the hand. I don't want it in there. Um, let me see. He builds a lot with oak. So yeah, there. So I have a trick for you. You can re-dye your armor. So you just put some uh, new dye on it and then it actually changed the color. And you can see it on the color code of the item that it will change. So and then you know that you did make a difference. Yeah, it is lighter now. So and his name is, and I'm going to butcher this up because this is such a hard name for me. Angerus. Angerus. I, <laughs> I hope. <laughs> Sorry. And I will put in my description a link from all the members on the server that have a YouTube channel. So please check them out as well, okay? And now I have to get in a nice position so I open the book and this is random. <laughs> well, it, uh, it's not too bad. Let me see, what do we have more? Oh, the sitting one. It's floating, you can actually put the arm stand down. Oh, oh, this is like dancing. No, um, I like him to kind of be... Oh, oh, I kind of like that. Just like Desolate, he's sitting as well. So then I have to find the... To adjust the position to put him down. Let me see, I went too far. It's here, it's nudge position. And then you have to get the Y one. And there he is, sitting on top of the chest. Angerus, welcome to the server. I hope you have a lovely time. And I hope you can see some videos of you. And what you're doing and all your adventures. I can't wait. See? Spawn is getting full to be quite honest. <laughs> and that is it. My job at Spawn is almost done. I got just one more thing to do. And then I'm finished at Spawn. And that is making the roof portal.
doesn't work. <laughs> This is spawn. My job is done, and I can actually go for my own base. But before that, let's do a flyover. job is done, the portal to the roof is working, everyone can come here and uh, parkour themselves to the mushroom and for me, I can finally fly away into the open world to find myself a new spot. But where? That's a good question. I'm gonna miss your spawn but I will be back to build some shops around. And for now, where do I want my new spot? And then I found this mountain. And look at this area, isn't that pretty, with a waterfall down, this big rock sticking out. And as soon as I saw that, all the ideas were like, oh I can do this, and I can do that, and what if I do this? And look at how it, it lay out. I really like the outside, and on the inside, there's this little valley, a little bit of green. Now I've never built in a cold biome, so I'm not quite sure if I can even do it, but I saw this place. And all kind of things went to my head, like, ooh, I can do this and I can do that. Now I'm just gonna go in free camp so I can show you around. So this is the little valley in between the mountains. I could already see that rock. That rock can be like a beacon of a torch, some some fire of a statue. I really like the idea of an entrance here on the side, next to the waterfall, that you go inside with a bubble elevator go through the mountain as the base and then come out in this valley, build all kind of stuff around it and even maybe here is like some minecart that brings you down to the to the branch mine or just to have, I don't know, a little ride around because I really like, like this area and how it is, is laid out. Oh yes, and the sun setting there, oh I can't wait to start building here, it's so pretty. That's so different from what I normally do. Can I land on this? Ooh, let me see, let me see. Oh, and oof, I always land a bit rough. Look, the sun is setting, the moon is coming, the aurora is on top of me. I really find this a pretty place. Are you just as excited as I am to start my base here, my new adventure? I hope you do. I hope to see you next week.